Today I'm going to show you how to edit stats, player positions, elements and more in Galaxy. The software we'll need for this is Karameru and Anna 3DS. Before we start, I should mention that there is a document version explaining how all of this works. But this is for the people who prefer videos over uh, Google documents. And we're doing this for you. So first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to dump the ROM FS. Then from there, we're going to make a, a folder, we'll call it base files. What we're going to do is drag and drop the IE6 underscore B and A into the base files folder. I'm just going to get rid of them. We don't need them. Okay, once we're in, once we've got our base files, what we're going to do is make another folder and make call it modded files. Inside this folder, we're going to make two additional folders, call them IE6 underscore A underscore FA and IE6 underscore B underscore FA. Those are important, we'll come back to them though. For now, we want to open our IE6 underscore A and extract the GDS pack. And so then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make a base file version of it. Then we are going to go to tools, compression, level five, decompress, decompress the pack, much like um, the changing the names. It's sort of similar to this, but we're changing stats instead. So we can come out of this and with our two new uh, files here, we're going to copy them over to our fi uh, modded files folder. Okay, reason we want to keep everything separated is we want to keep a base of the original files as well as keep the modded files uh, separate just in case if anything does go wrong we've got backups and we can work from there. Just keeps everything nice and organised and having backups is nice. So from there we're going to open our GDS pack decomp and uh, right click on the in the directory tree uh, the GS pack decomp pack and extract that we're going to extract it inside modded folders and save it under ie6 underscore a underscore fa folder the one we just made okay extracted successfully perfect we're now uh, good to go we've got the green light for our new software so we're going to open the inner ins um, 3ds Inside the INS 3DS, uh, they'll have two folders here, uh, one for tests and one for as the actual application itself. The test folder is for, it's just, it's got the same type of files in it from before. These are just to mess around with. You can uh, mess around all you want. So what's important is why we've made two folders um, is that the IE6 underscore A is the main topic of today's video. But there's also, um, we can also edit something else, um, which we'll get to at a later date. But for now, um, IE6 underscore A underscore FA, that's the only one we're going to focus on. So that's got the um, the player's information. Um, I would recommend you just mess around with uh, with uh, these two. Uh, let me get back up in your extracted ROM FS. Just mess around with them, see if you can get... Uh, comfortable with the software and all that before we go into actually modding um, the uh, stats and whatnot. So in here, uh, first and foremost, uh, options, language, English, if you don't speak any French, much like myself, um, putting it on English will prove most beneficial, I think. Uh, from there we can open, uh, and we're going to open our modded file folder here. Make sure this is highlighted, nothing else. Click OK. And everything is opened. Perfect. So, um, today we're going to be editing um, Hirato or Xavier Foster. Um, for my, Mori my Morion, my Orion uh, mod, he was changed from being a sort of midfield attacker to a defender. So, I want to make him a defender in Galaxy uh, based off of that. So... Here's your player list. It has every single player in the game. It's going to be quite a long time if we're just searching through all of that. So we can just type in his name if we know it. Um, luckily we do. So there he is. So 
once we've got our player, a uh, few things to see here. We've got the element, the position, uh, these are the gender. You can untick this and you get the option to select whatever you want. We'll keep ours uh, simple. Um, the level, you can't change that because um, it's really just to show you that at level 99, uh, the grayed out stuff, uh, stuff is the stats at that level. So the kick here would be 58, say level 1 we'll say. And then at level 99, the grayed out box is what it ends up with at the end at, at level 99. So it use 152 at level 99 and, go, and so forth just to get you a rough idea on that. So if it's greyed out, it's because it's level, uh, the max level uh, parameter. So if we change it, it goes up. Uh, this goes up and so does that because it's level, the level 99 stat will uh, adjust accordingly, which is really nice. So we want to make sure he has good block stats because he is now a good defender. So I'm just going to um, change them to the max parameter. Um, one thing to note, there is a max parameter and it's 255. Um, we'll give him a good dribble stat as well. We'll give him a hundred dribble because why not, you know? I, uh, he's quite good at he's quite good at kicking. I think he's quite good at kicking. So we'll we'll give him 90 or 80 kicking. You know, he's quite, he's quite good at kicking. <laughs> um, so you can't go any higher than 255. If you see here, I'm clicking up, but I can, uh, it doesn't do anything. Click down, it can uh, it, will, uh, it will go down. So you can't go above 255. Another thing, just to quickly gloss over, if you don't know what this freedom thing is here, this is the uh, points that you are rewarded with in the black room uh, for completing challenges and whatnot um, in the mini games. Uh, most of the players will have 200, so you've got 200 to spend on various different stats. You can change that to whatever I'm pretty certain I think it, you can have a thousand yeah you can have a thousand uh, freedom so you can really really change it to whatever I wouldn't recommend a thousand I would go just I'd say about 700 would be yeah just okay yeah just a bit so that's just the points we can get and we can spend it in the black room I'll show you um, an example of that later on I'm just going to change his TP to something along the lines of uh, that. And we'll make him a bit, a bit durable as well. But the main focus here is his position. He wants to, He's now a defender. We'll change it to defender. Now we're moving on to moveset here. Um, if you want to change the movesets of any of the players, you can. You can just drop down this little box here and select between the um, array of different um shots moves and whatnot um they will some of them will be in french as you can see not everything is trans as well qg emoji is still um not translated not all of it is so you'll need to play by um i either that or you can go on to the french uh, wikipedia and um just translate from there so you can have an understanding on what what does what um I don't want to change anything for now. I think everything is fine. But for the example, um, I'm going to change Kuiki emoji, each emoji to Great Max Nor. Why not? We'll give him I am the Almighty, and we'll yeah yeah that that's fine. Just just for tutorial sake, we'll we'll keep it between friends here. So once we're sit once we're happy with that, we click save, and everything is good to go. Uh, for the player now special moves if you want to edit special moves um i don't know why that just doesn't do anything does it <laughs> so the special moves in this box here is the list of all the moves we can make um for this example why not use the move we just gave uh xavier so great max not or will be a fire move so we can change the element which is now going to be fire um, its effect will be a uh, chain shot. You can change what type of effect you can have on your move. If it will be a punch, a long shot, chain shot, shot block, any of that, or even a block shot. You can change the type of um, move it is. If it's a shoot, dribble, defense, you know, catch. Um, it's pretty high cost, so we're going to just die it down a bit. Okay, I like 60. 60 is pretty decent. But then the power... 
Um, it's pretty powerful. 500. Pretty powerful. Um, difficulty, uh, we can keep in the stun. We can keep the stun. Uh, we might up. Just a wee bit. Just a little bit. Um, so, we've just made prob arguably the most powerful move in the game now. <laughs> so, we can click save there. Um, this box is greyed out because it's not a skill. It's a it's a move, not a skill. If you want to change any skills, this is the box you would change. I do not uh, recommend doing this. I don't know what... Um, I'm not really experienced in making skills. So, what I would recommend is just um, avoiding that for now. Um, so, we're done there. We can make sure we click save. Uh, now, we're moving on to fighting souls and fighting souls and spirits. And whatnot. Um the Keshians. So um I'm gonna change my favourite um Keshin, uh Robin. Uh so he's a wood, you should find um the KP. This is the Keshin power, obviously. Um we'll change the base parameter to two hundred. And you'll probably notice here that everything there changed. So this is the KP plus level two. So when your Keshin levels up to level 2, it will gain 10 additional uh, KP. As you can see there, the total has now went to 210. If we want to change that, say we want to uh, to go up by 40, it will now change to, it will go up by 240. And then in the next level, because it's going up by 10, it's going to be 10 plus 240, 50, 60. You get the idea there. Same with the power. If you want to change the power, we don't want, 50 is a bit, Fifty's about um, not not the greatest. So we'll start at a hundred. Start at hundred is pretty good, and then we want to change. And then you can see there, uh, we'll add on ten on uh, level two, so one hundred and ten, twenty, thirty, forty, kind of thing. Uh, I want fifty, one hundred and fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. All right, that's fine. That's fair. Um, the skill here, they're all in French. I have no idea what any of them mean, but I know they're all in French. Not the best. I've got an. I know that there's a wood or a kick boost. I think it's this. It's one of these. Is it? Right, it could be this. If you're not so sure, you can always just go on to the, the friendly Google Translate. If you're not entirely um, certain. Uh, um, well, that's when... That's not when I currently plan. Um, hold on, we can get the... Right, we're on the French wiki now. So, what I'm going to do is Black Butcher or Shoe Tezcat. Okay, we get. I know that Tezcat's Keshin. I don't know what it is in French. The Black Butcher, Dark Exodus, however you want to call him. He is. Um, he has a Keshin ability that I quite like. Um, I just need to find that the skill. Um, it's called yeah, it is Omifrap. Okay, so Omifrap X is what we would uh, change ours to. That is um shoot X, which is the plus fifty. I'm pretty certain to all people. Um, so that's nice. We're gonna click save on that. I just, if you're not too sure, you can always go again here the wiki. Uh, I'm on Dark Exodus's page here. It's all in French. I have no idea what any of this means other than um, this is the one I wanted to look at here on Galaxy. It's just Omifrap. So I went for Omifrap X. So uh, Black Butcher has um, the th uh, shoot go up by 30 for all um, people. So I want to make sure it goes up by 50. Um, I can't remember what... Uh, I think Arthur has that ability. But anyway... Um, now we've done our caching, we want to do our soul. So I want to change uh, Grithbang, because he's pretty cool. Dribble, and now uh, as you can see here, it's got the element position, the soul strike ability, um, and the skills, and the SP. We want to change the SP to 230. The reason I'm changing it to 230 is because I want to make an odd kind of number to stand out to me to make sure everything has went according to plan. Okay, so we can see the skills here, the rate here, I think rate means no skill, as you can, nah, well, you never know. I don't, th 
And it also happens to be in the same line as everything else. So we could probably give skill Fire Tornado. I wouldn't do not do that. I will say this one thousand times over. Do not do that. <laughs> That's just a recipe for disaster. So rate uh, it looks like to be the start of the uh, soul skills. Um, so I want to get rid of all of the rates. I, I know there's an accent there, right? But like, I don't speak French and I don't know how to pronounce anything. So to save myself any embarrassment, I am just going to um, ignore it for now. Um, so I'm just going to change everything to dribble plus 250. Makes it easier. And it's level 1 is 230. So everything gets adjusted accordingly. As you can see here, it's the same kind of uh, deal as the power here. So it goes up by 20 then 20 again, then 30, then 70. As you can see, it's all adjusted accordingly. Once you're done here, we can click save. There is another tab here, but we don't have the file for it, so I don't think it will show. Yeah, it's not showing because we don't have, it's, yeah, it's not responding. Um. Oh, well, it might, it might respond now. Yeah, well, um, so we don't want to focus on teams. Not not yet anyway. Um, that's a separate um video. I'm gonna plan for that because I I still need to learn how to do all that. So I'll learn how to do all that. Then I'll show all of you how to do all that accordingly. So, um, we're actually done with this now. So we can come out of this entirely. Go back into modded files. Uh, then we want to open our decomp pack, and then click on the directory tree and replace this with our new, the one in the folder i6 underscore in the folder we want to replace that click Control s to save uh, then we are going to compress it tools compress level 5 compress lz10 we want to make the decomp into the pack oh no we don't that's not right don't do that uh, compress lz10 make sure it's in the right folder Make sure it's in the right folder. We don't want any um, accidents happening with our backups. So we've, when that's all compressed and it's all compressed. Good stuff. And inside the modded files here, um, we're going to go and grab, I'm going to, in the base files, Control C, copy and paste, and we're going to paste it in Control V. Um, copy and paste this into the modded files. Open it up and replace the pack with our newly modded one control s to save that now that that's done we can put it into our mods folder and we'll see our results right inside our game now we are going to go to friends and check out hirato real quick xavier here there he is as you can see we've changed these parameters accordingly he's a defender now and his stats are insane Okay, that's pretty good. So that's um, worked wonders. Now into moves. Um, real quick, we can check I Am The Almighty. In fact, I actually have it. Uh, I Am The Almighty on Saru here. Um, we can really just have a glance at his moves here. So uh, as you can see, it's now 60. It does 700 damage. And yeah, I'm not looking forward to anyone with that move, to be honest with you. Uh, next is Faye with Sir Rabi. Um, now it's a total of 470, power still 300, because uh, that's the uh, power of full moon fever. KP is 280, attack 190, uh, and it's still all that good stuff. Raises kickstart by, for all teammates, by 50. As you can see, we've changed the um, his skill as well. It's now uh, went up by 50 for all people now, which is good. Brings him to 600, you love to see it. Um, next is the soul for Grithbang. That is a dribble, and he's right here. As you can see, SP is now 330, goes to 370, and, and all the skills are there. Um, that is beautiful. We've actually we've successfully done that. One thing to note: if if you're using the um, document guide, it tells you to extract the IE6 underscore B. GDS pack. Um, if you do that, you will be uh, given the Japanese text. If you have the Japanese text, what you'll need to do is um, extract your ROM FS uh, once more or go to your base file and extract 
the uh, i6 underscore a gds pack and instead of um doing all of the editing the player editing and stats editing again what you can do is just extract the um the text essentially well that would be as it would be these bin files here so inside the gds pack uh column here so the character text um item skill text and system text will all need to be extracted from your base files and then imported into your edited file it's a bit time consuming but that's how and um, it, it can be fixed that way and which is it's quite nice actually so not one to complain there but that is it for this tutorial hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like any questions please feel free to leave them down in the comments below i will be sure to answer them if i don't uh if a uh, topic's a, a bit too complex for uh the comment section what you can do is message me on discord my discord is down below in the description as always um if you're new here please consider subscribing um i don't know if there's going to be more tutorials but um we'll see in the near future i've got a lot planned um guide wise so it's always nice um just to keep your eyes peeled on that oh we've also got the the second part of um this is i suppose so that's the that'll be the last tutorial i'll do for a while i believe before moving on to guides we're going on to guides soon oh that's exciting but uh yeah with that said i'm off